ladies and gentlemen, Bray Wyatt is apparently frustrated with the booking of WWE, booking him the way they're booking him and moving him to Raw. Bray Wyatt continues to be pissed off with the officials backstage. We knew that this guy was pissed off from a lot of the things that happened earlier in his career. We knew he didn't like the Husky Harris gimmick. We knew he didn't like, you know, always losing to everybody and having to job out to people. And then sooner or later, we see, finally seen him win the title, the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view 2017. And that didn't last for long either. WrestleMania, Randy Orton won that match. He wasn't happy about that match. And now he's not happy about being moved to Raw because they're essentially not using Bray Wyatt the way Bray Wyatt wants to be used and essentially how we see uh, or should, you know, or want Bray Wyatt to be used. We're not seeing that either. So, you know, we know Bray Wyatt was WWE champion heading to WrestleMania as he lost it. Uh, he will receive a rematch at Payback. And now that he's on Raw, you know, obviously this is going to be a brand uh uh, uh, you know a both brand match whatever you want to call it a uh and uh it has been reported that bray white moving to raw and from smackdown was actually a last minute decision by officials wwe officials so that explains a lot of things that the officials didn't know there were rumors that aj styles moved to raw but the decision was to keep him there and so they decided to use uh, switch wide instead now, Bray moving uh, to Raw frustrated him because there were huge upcoming plans in place from on SmackDown Live. Apparently, you know, WWE officials couldn't make their mind up about the result of the WWE title match between Orton and Wyatt at WrestleMania. At different times, there were plans for both men to walk out of Orlando with the title, but the final decision was made to have the title change. Now, after WrestleMania, Bray Wyatt was under the impression his feud with Orton would continue for most of the summer which is what I sort of thought as well. But those plans are now erased. All this has frustrated Bray Wyatt because he's been consistently told one thing by WWE officials, but the opposite ends up happening. And, you know, he literally just can't stay, you know, he can't he can't stay stable is what I'm trying to say. You know, he's not a, he, he's not normal in, in terms of, you know, he can't, he can't stay in one place and just thrive there. He keeps moving and switching and changing and, you know, that's why he's not growing. Um, and for for once, that's that's a bad thing. Like you, you can't grow if you if you keep on changing everything. Um, now Bray Wyatt was told that you know Bray Wyatt he'll have a uh, uh, he'll be leaving WrestleMania 33 with the championship, but he dropped it uh, to Orton. He's under the impression that he'll remain on SmackDown Live. Then officials told him that he's moving to Raw. And it's understandable why Bray Wyatt is frustrated. A lot of things have been taken away from him. Um, going to Raw is not a bad thing, but when you're in a feud and the top guy on a Super SmackDown, going to Raw, you're, there are things that you must need, must have, to, or you must do in order to, you know, rejuvenate your. It's sort of like a refresher, a reset button as well, uh, where you have to rejuvenate your character in front of everybody again, and uh, you know, especially with him, he was in the world title picture, man. To get, to be removed away from that, it's not really a good thing. And it, it pisses a lot of talent off. Um, WWE officials are always, always trying to balance the craziness of storylines on WWE television, especially on the road to WrestleMania. The superstar shakeup happening immediately after the grandest stage of them all was so was also a radical way to make some major changes after the biggest show of the year. Uh, the card is always subject to change, but Bray Wyatt's frustration has come from so much changing for him in a short time span. Now, moving forward, uh, the WWE Universe is expecting Bray Wyatt to feud with Finn Balor, which is going to be great, by the way, right, on Raw. Um, so, if Bray Wyatt, you want to take anything away from this, you're going to have a great match with Bray, uh, Finn Balor. You're going to have a great, uh, if it's a title match later on in the future, this is going to be one of those must-see matches on Raw. So, you should be happy and proud about that. Although, the championship, uh, you know, they, they always do this. I don't understand. They With Bray Wyatt, why, I don't know why they screw him all the time, but unfortunately... Bray Wyatt is not going to be anywhere near the title picture for a little while. Um, don't think that he's going to come anywhere close to Lesnar at this point. Not yet. 
Finn Balor's recent injury could cause some issues. Again, he was injured. Check out my previous video. Finn Balor got injured by... Uh, what's his name again? Oh, yeah. Juicer Mahal is what people call him. A vicious elbow to the face. His face was just finished. Broken, bro. Um... So, officials, WWE officials do not have strong plans in place for Wyatt as a member of the Raw roster as at this point. Uh, he's being featured on the WWE's flagship show as a top heel, which means the powers that will be have a lot of faith in his abilities. If that's where their thing, if that's where their mindset is, good. Stay that way. Over the next few months, WWE will most likely be rewarding the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, for undergoing all of these issues, and the future remains bright for him. So, the future remains bright for Bray Wyatt. Hopefully, we can see Bray Wyatt's frustration derail and sort of come to an end where we can finally see, um, you know, him uh, be in that top number one contendership uh, bout for the championship. Um, we might see, you know, uh, Bray Wyatt go back to SmackDown. Um I don't. I don't see. Him, I don't see a program with him and Brock Lesnar as of yet. Um, but yeah, Bray Wyatt with Finn Balor is a good way of starting about it. It's a very good feud leading up to uh, the summer months. I mean, after after WrestleMania and going into April and everything, you're looking towards SummerSlam really. Um, and a lot of the feuds that begin now, um, you know, either lead into SummerSlam or they're the beginning of the summer feuds and we continue into SummerSlam with maybe just slight adjust, uh, adjustments and stuff. Uh, you know, <clears throat> so we could see Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt at uh, SummerSlam. We could see uh, maybe some minor adjustments with a triple threat fatal four. I'm just giving stuff out there, man. I mean, last year, remember when Cena and Styles started feuding together? Um, this was around, I would say June, I think, right after maybe even May. I think it was June or something. So, you know, they had a good three-month program into uh, SummerSlam. So maybe SummerSlam is a little bit longer than this, but this is just a way to start off. I think Bray Wyatt, for the most part, and Finn Balor, that's going to be a really, really good, uh, uh, you know, bout to look forward to. But otherwise, Bray Wyatt being upset, man, this is no surprise. Um, it's unfortunate, to say the least, um, if anything. You know, like, Bray Wyatt needs and should have been the guy that stayed on Raw or on SmackDown. And if anybody should have moved, um, according to the rumors, Styles should have moved. Great thing Styles is, is still there. I think Wyatt should have stayed there as well. Um, I think Wyatt should have been that one guy that stayed on SmackDown and not moved at all, um, along with Styles. And you would have had a good roster there, which you still do somewhat. Um, and you wouldn't have had it sort of depleted because you don't have a main card at this point. I don't know who could be challenging for the main title against Orton. I mean, you got Styles busy. Owens is U.S. title. Sami Zayn's not there yet. Corbin probably not there yet. I mean, who's going to be challenging for that world title at this point? Um, you know, Nakamura, not yet. Ziggler, no. Miz is not there. Ambrose is freaking on Raw. You know, like, Cena is out. You know, who the hell is he going to face? Eric Rowan? Luke Harper? You know, those guys aren't... I mean, I'm not going to say, like, they're bad, but they're not main event talent that is ready for it. Um, certainly, this is not WrestleMania we're talking about, so it's a possibility for sure. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. Kane? So whatever happens, man, happens. But thank you very much for listening to this video. Bray Wyatt's again upset. I'm upset all the time about WWE. Freaking piece of shits. <laughs> Peace out, guys. I will see you later with another video coming your way whenever it comes your way. Peace out, guys. Thank you.